Hi, this is Anya Slendy, Solutions Consultant from Toby Dynavox. Today I wanted to talk about how we can share a copy of a page set to a user and a device. So scenario where this might be helpful is say that I am a speech therapist in a clinic and I've been working on my iPad with little Joey for, I don't know, four or five weeks. And I have some pages set up for him that have like his specific picture. And he finally gets his i110, his own speech generating device. And I wanna make sure that he has these pages that we've been working on. So I'm actually not gonna to want to immediately sync to share. What I'm gonna to wanna to do is save a, or share a copy of the page set. And then once it's on his device, I'm going to rename it and then sync for sharing to myself. And the reason we want to do this is everything should originate with the user. So whoever created the page set originally, aka me the therapist, that means that I have kind of all the rights to share and to, and to take um, syncing privileges away. And really that should be the family. So all of those specific settings should be the family and everything should originate with the user and then we can branch out and share to whoever we want okay so what we're going to do is we are going to share a copy and right now I'm on my speech therapist account I'm on my iPad for example and what I'm going to go do is I'm going to go to page set I'm on little Joey and I'm going to use this little box with the arrow and I want to share a copy Okay, I'm gonna rename this Little Joey Copy. And then I'm gonna send it to the families, my Toby Dynavox account. Everyone wants to have their separate account. You can click the add button and then share. Okay, so that's all I'm doing on my side is the speech therapist. And then we're at home or we're maybe in the clinic for setting it up. We do have to have Wi-Fi for this. We do not have to have an unlocked device. This can all be done on a locked device. You do just need to connect to the Wi-Fi. It shouldn't take that long to transfer. My internet's been a bit slow today, so we'll see how long this takes. But again, it doesn't have to be an unlocked device to be able to do all of this. These capabilities live within the software and he has access to all the software um, and Wi-Fi, so we can click done. Okay, so now I'm going to pretend, I'm going in, I'm pretending that I'm on the i 10 I'm the family now. I need to log into my family account. I'm on the i 10 again. It's a little confusing because I'm doing it all on my computer so I can show you. Okay, so I'm on my account and I get a little arrow or I get a little exclamation point little Joey copy okay so I clicked on that button I want to download this and I'm just going to name it little Joey I win 10 All right, so I've got little Joey's page here. It looks exactly the same like everything else. We've got a little friends characters. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna share this. I'm gonna share this for syncing with my speech therapist, okay? So I'm gonna sync to the cloud to make sure it exists in the cloud as it is right now. I'm a, I'm a mom, I'm doing this on the i 10 The reason that these things aren't necessarily automated is because we want it really to be the user's choice. It's their choice for who they share it with, when they share it, examples. We also don't want things messed up um, and editing messed up. Okay, so it is synced, and now I want to sync and share. So it's a share page set for syncing. This is where I put my speech therapist information in. Click the plus button, share. Done. Okay. All right, so on my i 10, I've got the pages I need from the speech therapist. I am good, I am ready, I am set to go. What it will look like on the speech therapist side. 
I'm pretending like I'm going back to my iPad. I'm sitting in the clinic the next day. I'm logged into my Toby Dynavox account. Maybe it's my professional account on the iPad. Okay. Depends how long it takes to sync. This has only been like a couple seconds, but we can see if something's available for me by going into my cloud and then the little box. This is little Joey I-110. Oh great, they've shared it for me. I'm gonna download that and done. So now I have that page set where we are synced between the cloud and the cloud is in between us. So I can sync pages to them and vice versa. So that's how we can share things once kids get their own device. Hope this helps.